Welcome to all of my good people out there. And today, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build something that a lot of you may not even know that will help you in taking videos uh, for your YouTubing or vlog, whatever it is you do, this will help. And while they do have a professional solution, this is just a cheap way to do it yourself. Um, this is a like a weight system, stabilizer weights, whatever you wanna call it, there's a lot of different names for it. But what it actually does is put weight onto the tripod so wind can't knock it down. And also, so you don't have to worry about the tripod moving and it gives you more smoother turns when you turn your camera in any direction. Now, one of the things that you're gonna need is, this is what I'm using, a carabiner with a release hook like this. You can get them like at Harbor Freight or Royal King. They're usually about two bucks or under. I'll give a link in the, in the video description. Next, you can get these at Walmart. Now there's all kinds of different weights you can use. You can use ankle weights. These right here that they had in stock, they didn't have any ankle weights. So they actually had hand weights. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open these right now. And I'm gonna show these to you. Okay, so here's what they look like. And these are two pounds a piece, which is a total of four pounds. They have a handle here. See how they have a strap handle? And you can do it many different ways, but I'm gonna show you the way I do it. I have some nylon rope, and I've had that laying around because I've magnet fish and I've had some extra rope, but it's real cheap. You could get it for like, three dollars or under again i'll give a link for that in the video description okay so i already have a carabiner tied off here and now the length of the rope is going to vary depending on what kind of tripod or what kind of camera mount system you're going to want to mount this to i mean you can have it hang into the ground like the uh, weights or it doesn't have to it can be hanging from the camera itself so you're going to have to measure how much rope you need for your specific tripods or mounting rigs in my case i'm going to need about two feet that should do it right there and remember it's always better to have too much than not enough now i'm going to cut the rope Just like that. And then I'm going to pull this up and I'm gonna tie this onto my weight. So then I think you get the point, guys. This is what you should end up with. And then this is going to, if this doesn't fit around your device that you wanna attach it to, you can wrap the rope around your device like so until it takes up enough slack. And then you can put the carabiner in just like that and then lock it up. And put this in a lock position if you get a carabiner with the lock which i would they don't cost very much more so then you have this hanging off of your tripod and these right here are much cheaper than the professional ones that you buy and a lot of the professional ones you have to fill with sand yourself and in this one you don't have to fill with anything at all it already comes with I think sand or something in it. So just they're, and they're convenient 
to go buy because they're available about everywhere. I got this at Walmart. Now what I wanna do is since I have two of these, you know, that means I can put up to four pounds on one tripod if I need to, because each of these are two pounds. Now I'm going to do another two foot. Of rope because that again two two feet is exactly what I need for my application what I'm going to be using it for I'm not using any special knots or anything I mean if you want to use a polymer knot you can but I'm just gonna use a regular type of knot because this isn't gonna be doing anything extreme. It's just gonna be holding a tripod into place. Then we take the other end and we tie it down tight. See, you can see me tying that tight onto the weight. And then you have another one. So all together, this cost me around $12 to make. You have to buy the Carabiner, the weights, they cost 10 for a total of four pounds. Now you can use these both at the same time on the same tripod, which would give you four pounds of weight protection against wind and just movement or you could just use one. Like if you had two uh, camera rigs out, you could use this on one camera rig and you could use the other on another camera rig. So guys, for $12, this will keep your camera equipment safe and it will help it work more efficiently. In fact, I'll give you some examples. Okay guys, the first thing I'm gonna try to show you is this. I showed you how to build your very own uh, overhead or top view um, smartphone video capture. And uh, what this does, it lets you draw or, you know, put, fix something like electronic wise so you can get a top view of what you're doing. Well, if you put a bigger phone onto this than this mount can handle, It'll try to tip over just a little bit. I use an iPhone 6S, so it doesn't really give me a problem. But if you use a bigger phone, you could use one of these. You just take this, and I don't know if you can see the bottom of this. You just take this, and then I'm gonna just wrap it around. set it on the uh, see I'm gonna set it right on the uh, the lamp itself I want to wrap it around and then it's all out of the way put that loop back through here then I'm just going to clip it on and this is what it looks like from this view. Now I can more than double the weight before this thing tips over. I mean you could put, okay look I have an iPhone 7 Plus right here with a big Defender uh, OtterBox case. Look, that weighs three to four times more than my iPhone 6S. And look, it's not even budging. So that has fixed the problem here. All right. So that is a good example of what these weights can do. Okay, now I'm going to show you a second, a second example. Okay guys, here I have a Panasonic Lumix G7 camera. And to me, that's uh, an expensive camera. 
So when I'm out in the wind or whatever, it doesn't matter how high I put this tripod, I can adjust it with the rope. But since it's down on the ground, I'm just gonna set it kind of right here underneath the tripod. And I'm going to wrap this around all the way. What you're gonna to need to do in the end is really learn what you need for your specific tripods or your video mount rig. I showed you two different examples of two different kinds. Hopefully it can help you learn how to make your own camera weights so that you can stabilize your equipment much better and make better videos. Anyways, if you like this video, then subscribe to my channel, hit the subscribe button up there and smash the like button. Until next time guys, have a good day.